everyone welcome to another go high level video tutorial now in this video tutorial i will show you how to password protect go high level pages and websites so uh, obviously before we get started make sure to check out our 30 day free trial link for go high level for everyone that is watching this video if you want to try go high level this is your chance to do it now obviously the first thing that we want to do is we want to add element and we want to go and add a code element but first what we want to do is we want to exit out and uh, obviously right here we have a blank page so as you can see we're going to go to the plus we go to the code section obviously and we want to go and first obviously what we want to do is not add anything but let me just find it right here which is basically rows we have one column here obviously before a column we want uh, a global section so let me go to the sections full width add a row add a column add an element and then we want to add a text or a code a code basically let's click here open a code editor now what are we going to add here what I did is I went to ChatGPT, I said create me a password protection for my website and code it in HTML, JavaScript and CSS. Uh, it gave me uh, a sample code right here, but the next thing that it gave me, it gave me also a CSS as well. It also gave me a JavaScript, but as you can see, I said make it look modern and slick with CSS, make sure people are redirected to this link after submitting the password. So you can also redirect them to your entire website that you want. So we can copy this code here. As you can see, we have here the code and we also have the CSS. We can copy it right here, right? Now, obviously we can also enter a class name. So let's say, okay, this is a code. We have this right here, uh, the title, the link, we have the div, which is the class container. So we can copy that container class. We can go to advanced, enter the class, which is called container. So we can, or we can just copy this, right? We can also copy this. After we copy this, we can go here to, let me kind of see, we have typography custom CSS, and now we can paste a CSS right here. So we can copy the style, we can hit save. Let's just see if we go back, I'm not sure what happened here, but we wanna go and wanna save, but it, let's, let's just leave here, let's just go back. And if we, paste this code again so let me just paste it again here not this one but this one if you go to the edit section here basically once we go here once we save this I'll just show you without the CSS because something is bugging out right now but if we hit save uh, additionally what you can do is if you go to the advanced if you copy this and if you add it to the uh, code right here uh, dot container you can just replace that with custom code this and that will basically change the entire thing but if we go here we go to the um, here section if we you know enter the password if we submit the password as you can see it will say okay this is not a good password but basically what we can do is we can also change the password if we want to see the password here somewhere around here you will see the password so as you can see you have ID password input you can put for example one two three right and then you can hit save hit save here go to the uh, view option which is right here and then we can just put one two three and once that is done it will basically redirect us to google right right now it's not working i'm not sure why but that's pretty much what you want to do in order to password protect your go high level pages and websites again if you want more tutorials just like this, you can comment down below and you can also get a 30 day free trial as well, along with other special bonuses through our link down below. Thank you guys for watching.